You know, it never surprises me that modern health advice tends to be the opposite of the truth. I've been speaking about how sunscreen is bad for you in just about every vitamin D video I've made for the past few years, but I've never dedicated a video specifically to it. And with the sunscreen recall a few weeks ago, I figured this would be a good time to jump in. The conventional wisdom of skin cancer and the sun aging you has been ingrained so hard that people will not believe what you say until they try it themselves. Our grandparents didn't have these chemical sunscreens and they spent way more hours in the sun, yet skin cancer rates are rising, not lowering with our modern medical advancements. We spend less time in the sun, yet cancer rates are going up because modern medicine seems to make things worse. They're gaslighting you, they're lying to you to believe the opposite. So we need to debunk skin cancer, discuss why sunscreen isn't effective, and also what's in sunscreen. But before that, the simple natural sunscreen is basically taking a vitamin D supplement, which I do have available on organsupplements.com because that vitamin D will activate the receptors in your skin to darken so that you have your own natural sunscreen, darker tan skin, but we'll touch on that a little later. All cancers are triggered by excessive amounts of toxins combined with high radiation levels. And the sun is technically a catalyst for skin cancer because it damages your skin. And if your body is unable to heal the skin, you'll start getting issues. You know, those cells will become cancerous in some scenarios and combining the modern food with the modern Wi-Fi, you know, it's no wonder the standard American dieters are getting skin cancer. However, in a healthy person on a healthy diet, free of pollutants, if they're in a low Wi-Fi environment like myself, when I go out in the sun, my skin tans, you know, I've been using tanning beds for years and years and years. I've been in the sun for years and years and years. And by modern conventional wisdom, I should have had skin cancer 10 times over, but I understand that it's not about the sun. And the thing is, you need vitamin D to activate those melanin receptors in your skin. So when you use sunscreen, you're actually preventing your body from getting the nutrients it needs to acclimate to those UVB rays that are so bad for us. And we know how important vitamin D is for overall health, especially immune function. And of course, the government wants you to be afraid of the sun, so you're sick all the time. So let's say you go out with sunscreen on and you still get a bit of a sunburn. Not only does your body have to heal the damage still, it doesn't have the vitamin D. So the skin's not gonna darken and it's gonna continue to burn and be excessively damaged when you go outside. Now I've gone through dozens and dozens of studies on vitamin D and there are some hard hitting points I would have liked to bring up in this video, although I didn't save those studies, but we have two decent ones. Uh, so the first is use of sunscreen and risk of melanoma and non-melanoma skin cancer, where it states, while the current evidence suggests no increased risk of skin cancer related to sunscreen use, the systematic review does not confirm the expected protected benefits of sunscreen against skin cancer in the general population. So you might not be able to find strong evidence that sunscreen directly causes cancer despite recalls for carcinogenic compounds, but you also won't be able to find sufficient evidence that sunscreen actually works by reducing your cancer risk because it doesn't. So the second study is the risks and benefits of sun exposure 2016. This review considers the studies that have shown a wide range of health benefits from sun UV exposure. These benefits include reducing various types of cancer, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's disease, dementia, myopia, and macular degeneration, diabetes, and multiple sclerosis. Um, my new book that I'm hopefully coming out with the next year or the year after will actually touch a lot on that. It also states that non-burning sun exposure is associated with a reduced risk of melanoma, while sunburns are associated with a doubling of the risk of melanoma. So being out in the sun actually reduces your risk of skin cancer. And that confirms two things we said earlier. Vitamin D is crucial to our overall health and that the average person does not have a sufficient nutritional status to recover from a sunburn. You know, the worst thing you could do is wear sunscreen 
and get a sunburn because then you're damaging your skin and not even giving yourself the vitamin D to recover from the sunburn. So on to the actual sunscreen. Uh, those recalls several weeks ago were because of one isolated ingredient that was deemed carcinogenic and then there was another recall a couple weeks after that for another ingredient that was deemed carcinogenic. But I guarantee you the majority of the population doesn't see those articles and they're still rubbing on the generic sunscreen, banana boat, whatever is full of this crap. It's a laundry list of chemicals. Avobenzone, homosalate, otocrylene, stuff you can't pronounce, denatured alcohol, isobutane, isodedocaine, and, and then there's even more that these people just put on their skin without even knowing what it is. And we could go into each of these single chemicals, how they're made, why they're harmful for the body, but even the general mainstream admitted that some are carcinogenic and I don't need people plagiarizing more hours of my work. The ones that aren't carcinogenic are known to be skin irritants and made from complex laboratory extractions. And if you understand that sunscreen doesn't actually work, you know, all of the negatives associated with it and that some compounds are proven to be carcinogenic, why in the right mind would you use sunscreen? So the compounds in it that aren't carcinogenic are known to be skin irritants and made from complex laboratory extractions. Certain ones even have soft metals, heavy metals that'll transfer through the skin and go into your organs. So if you know sunscreen doesn't actually work, all of the negatives associated with it and that some compounds are proven to be carcinogenic, why in the right mind would you use it? And there are even natural alternatives to be explored, such as coconut oil and shea butter that many indigenous people use to protect their skin in incredibly high UV areas. Uh, so hopefully this helps some of you guys out. I'm glad I can do some research for every other YouTube channel. Uh, so they'll probably be talking about sunscreen this week as well. But if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and check that bell icon so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank defoundcom to support me through my various businesses. You know, we mentioned organ supplements earlier, but we got quite a few on there, so definitely check it out, guys. Thanks again, and I'll see you tomorrow.